Greetings, Daniel Presedo for Adobe Photoshop. And today we're going to start a unique series that goes through the 3D menu. I'm going to go through each of these items to help you get started using Photoshop 3D. New 3D extrusion from current selection. Now this is one of my favorites to do in Photoshop because you can take selections. In this case, I'm just going to grab the marquee tool here and a bunch of selections. You know what, I'll even switch it to the ellipse. And let's even subtract a little pieces here and watch what happens. I'm going to use the 3D new 3D extrusion from current selection. This is my 3D layer, I mean, excuse me, my 2D layer is selected items are turned into 3D geometry. Now, how fascinatingly awesome is that? That's just wonderful. You can do current selections, turn them into 3D objects. There is a limit, a threshold of complexity that's allowed to create geometry but it's pretty high so you should do some very interesting things with that. So let's go back in time and do that once again. Let's try something a little bit different here and we're gonna make a few selections. You know we can even use different tools. I can use this tool and I can use my other lasso tool and make negative selections and just gonna go wild here. I'm cutting holes basically in the uh, selections and let's go ahead and add a few more you know we can just just do just about anything we want again back up into the 3d menu new 3d extrusion from current selection and bingo we have 3d generated from our selection imagine the possibilities of using this with merging layers to create unique 3d geometry that is new 3d extrusion from current selection and if you have any questions please leave them on the channel and thank you for watching